Moments after Trump arrives at hospital to visit Scalise, terrible news revealed about his health. Although Rep. Steve Scalise survived Wednesday's shooting at a baseball field in Arlington, Virginia, he did not walk away unscathed. President Donald Trump set aside his own birthday in order to visit the congressman in the hospital, where he remains in critical condition after sustaining a bullet wound to the hip. However, as soon as the president arrived to comfort Scalise, terrible news was revealed about his health. It appears that it will be a long and painful road to recovery for Rep. Scalise, who was forced to lay bleeding on the baseball field, where Republican lawmakers were practicing for a charity game, for an extended period of time as Capitol Police worked to take out shooter James T. Hodgkinson. On Wednesday evening, while President Donald Trump could have been celebrating his birthday with his entire family finally in Washington, D.C., he instead visited Scalise at MedStar Hospital. First Lady Melania Trump, who officially moved into the White House over the weekend, accompanied her husband to the hospital. The couple brought with them white flowers for the wounded congressman. Trump arrived at MedStar Washington Hospital around 8.40 p.m., according to a pool report. Melania Trump reportedly accompanied her husband. White House staff members carried flowers. They left around 9.10 p.m. Source, Washington Examiner Although an earlier report from CNN's Jim Acosta claimed that Trump had been unable to see Scalise, the very fake news outlet turned out to be very wrong on that account. On the contrary, the president spent approximately 30 minutes at Scalise's bedside comforting him and offering words of encouragement. It's a good thing, too, because it looks like Scalise is going to need all of the support he can get. As Rep. Scalise remains in critical condition undergoing further surgeries and blood transfusions as a result of the devastating bullet wound he incurred yesterday, the entire nation continues to pray for him. Meanwhile, President Trump has shown superior leadership in the wake of this senseless tragedy, carried out by a crazed leftist supporter of the socialist Bernie Sanders. President Trump was quick to condemn the shooter's actions and comfort the victims of the terrifying ordeal, even though it unfolded on his own birthday showing where his true priorities lie. We are blessed to have such a strong leader at the helm of our nation, our nation.